Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play WasHack. We've had a surprisingly long run with this Valkyrie so far, and we managed to escape the mines and get back into the dungeons the last time. All is going pretty well. I'm a little bit short on food, as you can see. Just a mere apple to my name. But hopefully I'll be able to scavenge some stuff off corpses, because I believe I picked up a skill an episode or two back that should let me get extra meat from dead bodies. So, we've already cleared out this corridor at the end of the last episode. Installment of this roller coaster thrill ride. What's, is that meat? Yes, meat! Giant bat meat. Take that. Okay, now we have another giant bat and what appears to be an orc coming at us. So, let's take them out. No big deal. Okay, nothing to pick up there. So, let's go down to the next floor. Gems are plenty, which is fine if we actually come across a trader at some point, but they're very unpredictable. Sometimes you see a lot of them, sometimes you hardly see any. Anyway, let's bash down this door. Come on, kick! Oh, single kick, and it flew back against the wall. Alright. Kobolds don't worry me too much. I will take his money. Okay, book. Now, being a Valkyrie, I'm not big... Wooden broadsword? I didn't think so. Being a Valkyrie, I'm not big on using magic, and you may remember my selection of 0% spells. And I'm thinking I may actually begin experimenting with casting some of them, or trying to cast some of them, just to try and build up experience and basically see what happens. Um, no, I don't want to exit. But I will try reading this spell book. Oh, I can drop that one, actually. Don't need that anymore. But I'm not as encum oh, an enemy stopped me reading. Um, I'm not as encumbered as once I was while I was a goblin for a large part of the previous episode. Okay, let's try reading again without interruption. Oh, it was too advanced. All right, well, in that case, I think I'll just drop that from my pocket. There, get rid of it. Um... Okay, once these question marks have stopped floating around, I'll try casting a spell that I've learnt already. Get stuff out of the bag. Ah, uh, it's just money. And a scroll of magic mapping. Don't need it at the moment, but it could be handy at some point. Okay, and that's a mystery scroll. Let's try reading the mystery scroll now, just get it out of the way. Beowoki. Oh, it says nothing happened. So actually I've tried that before, but clearly with no effects. So I think I'll just hold on to it for the time being, and maybe I'll pick up um, an Identify Scroll at some point, and then I can find out what it actually is that has been causing it to do nothing. Um, okay, that's dark, so maybe this is an opportune time to try out my Light Spell. Here we go. You do not have sufficient skill. Alright. Dark spells. What about death spells? Oh, you're starting to forget the details of the absorb curse spell. That happens. You actually forget spells when you don't use them. Really? Okay, I thought death spells were actually my best ones, but clearly I don't have enough skill to cast anything, so that at least has been an educational experience. I know not to waste my time. Anything here? Uh, kill a bee goo. There you gave me food poisoning the last time round, I think. Wedge of cheese, that's more like it. You feel sick? Oh, it's because my head's glowing green. We all know very well the effects of a glowing green head. Who hasn't suffered from that at least once during their childhood? Alright, um, clearly we're in need of some food, but we're also sick. So, I'm going to wait a little bit to eat food. Um, oh, entirely dark. I don't think I've ever seen an entirely dark floor before. Ah, just one dark floor. Wow. We took a lot of damage there. Um, let's rest up, see if we can get some of our health back. Yeah, much better. Okay, let's eat... Uh, I don't want to eat blob of soldier ant goo. I don't want to eat nearby food. That's better, food that's in our pocket. Let's eat the giant bat meat. So that's alright. Oh, it seems to have made me confused, though. Oh, man. No, not that way. No, no. 
Okay, so eating giant bat meat is confusing. Well, I have to say it would confuse me. But I expect a bit more from the sturdy stomach of a Valkyrie. Okay, that looks like the end of a room. Can't go any further. So, let's trot back this way. You're beginning to feel hungry again. Already. Let's eat the apple. And go downstairs. So it's all nice and light and shiny. And we can actually see what we're doing. Getting good at kicking open doors, I have to say. Oh, my head's green again. Oh, what a nightmare. I didn't think I have any... Um, poison-relieving things, either. I assume there's a potion of some sort, probably, that gets rid of poison. But, oh, crap. Your amulet begins to glow. I think I actually lost all my health there, and then my amulet glowed, and all my health came back. The amulet crumbles to dust. Okay, so it was a life-saving amulet. It actually prevented my death. At least once. Okay. Still taking a lot of damage. I'm going to go over here where it's light and sleep. Hopefully get some of my health back. Come on. Why can't I sleep anymore? Come on. Sleep. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, it's because of that thing. What? It just turned me to ice and ran away. The cheeky little bugger. Alright. Managed to pick up a potion of healing there, apparently. Rest. Good stuff. Okay. Now we're back to full health. Let's descend once more. Things are beginning to get noticeably tougher now. Um, it was pretty tough while I was a goblin. I'm Honestly, I'm not going to even bother reading spell books anymore, because apparently I can't cast spells even when I learn them, so let's just skip it. Um, any meat? Ogrinids, oh, yes. Yeah, things seem to be getting tougher. They went... Uh, they became pretty tough when we were turned into a goblin. But since we turned back into a Valkyrie, it's been relatively straightforward. But I'm noticing a distinct increase in the difficulty here. Lots of potions. I might have to start trying those out. But I'm a little bit nervous about doing so. Basically, simply because the game is... Oh, crap sticks! Oh, God. All right, let's pick up all my gear again. Your movements are slowed. I bet they are. Oh, hell. All right, well, let's put on whatever I can put on. Like this. Um, I'll put on this amulet of Dweomery, just because my old amulet crumbled away. Get rid of that wand. Or de-equip it. Um, equip the Morning Star. I also dropped that club. I don't know where I picked up a club from, but I have no use for it, so drop that. Okay, we've got a bat coming in. Inbound bat. <laughs> what? Why? Okay, so that was a very, very swift change. Um, there we go. Oh, crap! I was going to try and jump over that. No, don't turn me into a normal rat. Oh, God, back to a goblin again. Okay, can I at least pick my stuff up? Please? No, I don't want the club. Okay, I'm going to try and jump over this trap. No! Oh, I can't jump because I'm burdened. Oh, shit balls. Alright. Put my stuff on. Put some things on. Yes. And that. Okay, I can't wear the skull cap or the armor. Or the shield. And it looks like I actually can't use the mace either. So I maybe I could do with going back to get that club, but I don't want to risk crossing this trap again. I mean, it looks inert, but there's no guarantee. Okay, alright, I'm going to try it. Oh, it's fine. Okay. So maybe I can actually use this club as a weapon in the absence of my normal weapon. There we go. Um, very burdened. Notice the two on a weight up there. Uh, because we've just got so much crap. Let's see if there's anything I can offload. Um, anything conspicuous. Alright, I'll get rid of this cursed thing. Um, that spherical amulet. Both of these spell books. Uh, 
I think I'm still cursed to hold this wand of fire, but maybe not. I'll, I'll try dropping it. Get rid of that wand. Basically all the empty, used up wands. Drop all of those. Okay. So we're slightly less burdened now. Let's try drinking these potions as well. Um, let's drink monster detection. Actually, you know what? Let's take a gamble on potion of polymorph. See if it actually turns us back into our normal self. Ah, oh, turns us into a goblin. Still, I think that's slightly better than um, the kobold. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be keeping the goblin levels that we gained the last time we were a goblin, but never mind. Oh, I didn't pick that up. Accidentally deselected it. Cheese, I'm going to need that. Okay, can I open this? Let's kick it. Get stuff out. Green gem, brown potion, identify light longbow. Ignore the longbow, but take everything else. Now let's try using the identify scroll on that mystery scroll. It's an uncursed scroll of repair armor. Okay, so that's why it didn't do anything. Because I didn't have any damaged armor. What else can I identify? At least one other thing. Brown potion. Uncursed potion of enlightenment. I assume that increases my intellect or something of that nature. Um, all right, I'll try the club, I suppose. Minus one wooden club. And I still have another thing to identify. Ugh. Um, but I think everything's been identified, right? Let's try identifying the meat. The piece of garter snake meat is a piece of garter snake meat. Well identified. Alright, so let's take our slow moving goblin this way. Do I want to try opening this door? Probably not. Oh, crap on a stick. Holy hell. I mean, that opened without any contribution from me. Quickly, let's whack all my stuff back on. Get my proper weapon out. Why is my armour not on? Put my armour and shield on. Oh, it interrupts me whenever I'm trying to put stuff on. Okay, um... Wand of teleportation. Let's try and get rid of one of these guys. Oh, I hit myself. Well, that works too. Um, it looks like my health bar has in some way glitched out in the top left. So I have no idea what's going on there. In fact, my whole interface has glitched out. Indeed, the game has completely locked up, it seems. Ugh, what an ignominious way to die. Teleporting myself caused the whole interface to pack up, so I couldn't equip anything. And then I was beaten to death by three ogres all standing uncomfortably close together. What an inglorious end to our otherwise fairly impressive run with Maula the Valkyrie. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. As usual, rejoin me the next time round for another foray into Wozhack. And maybe I'll try a class I've never tried before, if I'm feeling brave. Until next time, bye for now.